Welcome to the first chapter of the video tutorial for DVD Workshop 2. This video tutorial is to help you rapidly become familiar with DVD Workshop and is not intended to replace the manual. You'll find that all the media files that we use in the tutorial are included in the installation disk. Before you start, you may want to make sure that your computer is optimized for working with video. Please visit the Learning Center on the Uli.com website and view the section on System Tweaks. This tutorial series is divided into five chapters. Chapter 1 Overview This chapter introduces the key features of DVD Workshop and is designed to give you an overview of the software. DVD Workshop has five intuitive steps. 1. In the Start step, you can create new projects. Simply click New Project and type your project's name. Be sure to set the media type here and the TV system. Or for previously saved projects, click Open Project and browse to the file. 2. In the Capture step, you can easily capture common media formats from video devices, such as camcorders or decks. You also have several other options like Automatic Scene Detection and MPEG Direct, which captures native DV, encodes it to MPEG, and saves it on your hard disk in one pass. Capturing video is a simple process done by connecting your video device to your PC, turning on and selecting your video device. Next, you choose the video format and select the Capture folder from here. You can also choose to select the duration of the video you would like to capture by clicking on Duration and setting the time in this manner. Make sure Add Video to Title List is checked. Then, just click Capture Video. When it is finished capturing, DVD Workshop places your title here in the title bar. 3. In the Edit step, you can collect, trim, and preview your titles in real time. With DVD Workshop, you can import numerous common media formats. Choose a media type in the library and then click the Open icon. You can import video, images, and audio. In the Edit step, there are many powerful features so you can design your DVD just the way you want it. 4. In the Menu step, you create striking menus to guide the audience through your DVD's chapters. DVD Workshop 2 gives you the power to completely customize menus, buttons, and text. Customizing buttons includes options like selecting default button, setting videos as motion buttons, and defining each button's playlist. The playlist defines the relationships between menus, videos, subtitles, and audio tracks for each button. The playlist will be covered in detail in Chapter 5. Customizing text includes options like formatting, drop shadow, and defining each button's playlist. Five. In the Finish step, you can decide how you want to save your project. Commit to disk. Save an image to hard disk. Or record to DLT. Some of the options include copy protection and previewing your entire project in real time. You have completed the first of five chapters. In the next chapter, we will cover editing videos and slideshows.